Good day, good day. Oh, let me just move a bit. Good day, good day, good day, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, patrons and YouTubers, YouTube viewers, how are you all doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another weekly video. This one is about more than a day late for a very, very good reason. So last night we thought we would do Vampire the Masquerade and uh, due to technical difficulties and everything happening, um, we cancelled last night's uh, first season two episode one um first season two episode one you know what i mean and uh, we decided to move it to next week and and last night luckily we moved it to next week because last night it was raining cats and dogs yeah i wouldn't be able it was raining from about the time that I usually do my Patreon videos is usually around about 6 or 7-ish. And the rain just started slightly after 7. And I was like, okay, cool, I'll wait for the rain to finish. And at about 12 o'clock, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just going to go to bed. And today I woke up and I'm like, something is missing. You know, when you've, when you've got that feeling where like, there's there's something... There's something missing, you know, and I'm thinking the whole day, like I woke up this morning, we had load shedding and I was like, oh, fuck it. I'm going to just pass out this morning again, woke up, did a few things, got myself a new sort of a, a new vape juice that I love and got back home and I'm like, there's something missing. I was like, okay, cool. I woke up this morning. I didn't take a shower. So let's take a shower. Maybe that's it. I took a shower and everything. And I worked on new things for my stream. You'll see it tomorrow uh, when I start the stream up. Um, and I was like, okay, cool. And as I was working, I looked over and I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot the, the Patreon thing. You know, I forgot the Patreon thing. I'm gonna, um, I forgot the Patreon thing. Give me a few seconds. And uh, I just had to move the mic a little bit closer. <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot the Patreon video. Damn it. How can I forget it? And so now I'm here a day late. That is a very long story for I'm just like, hey, sorry, I forgot it. Now I'm doing it. But that is actually the reasoning behind it. So back to the Patreon video. What did we do last week? Not a lot. Because my internet went <laughs> the entire fucking week. I was lucky if I could pull in three or four hours of streaming. Uh, by about Friday, the technician came around. Um, oh, fuck. I still need to upload those Divinity videos on YouTube. Anyway, by about Friday, uh, the technician came around and I was like, okay, cool. And he's like, no, cool. Everything's working. I'm like, fine. And about three hours after he left, maybe four the internet dropped again. And I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm just, I'm done. You know, I'm like, meh, I'm done. And uh, Saturday was quite cool. We played about six hours worth of seven days to die, which kind of tells me the internet is working again. Let's hope it works that way tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow we don't get hit by load shedding. There's no way I can figure out which load shedding part I belong to because that's just nobody knows. I've got like three or four different schedules that supposedly includes our areas and it's all different times, you know. So I roughly know today what time it was so I can figure out when that load shedding is. But tomorrow's load shedding, if we're in that same group, might not happen at the same time. It might happen two hours later, two hours earlier. Who knows? Not me, not the South African government, not the shitty people running the uh, power utility company. No one knows when load shedding will hit. It is freaking useless. The only people who knows are people in the bigger cities. Who knows for sure are people in the bigger cities. Yeah. The rest of us are just like, well, hopefully we don't have load shedding. And uh, yeah, so played the uh, Seven Days to Die Darkness Falls mod, which is quite cool. I wasted a couple of skill points uh, uh, on unnecessary things. I've learned my lesson, but still, it's about three or four skill points wasted. And um, 
yeah, it seems to be like it's quite it's a new game, entirely new game, and it seems like the game is running better with that mod. I have no idea. Um, so, like I said, the vampire thing didn't happen this Sunday, um, but uh, of course it was raining the whole time, so it would have been cancelled in any case. Or I would have just muted myself the whole time and just quickly talked and just like, you know, stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Uh, I've done something to the stream. Man, I wish I could show you. I wish I could show you, but I'm not going to. You'll have to find out on my new stream what is the difference. Uh, you'll find it out from the beginning of the stream. And... Um, a small hint, if you look at my panels on my Twitch page, you'll see the differences I brought on. Um, and yeah, this is, this is, this feels like a successful thing. This feels like a brilliant thing. Also, thanks to the internet shittiness, um, the money I had to get for my rent this month didn't come through, but luckily it got paid back into my PayPal account, so I could have just, I could just withdraw it again. So instead of paying my internet, uh, my rent on time, I'm going to pay it about three or four days late, which is kind of shit. But luckily, the people do understand. And um, also what happened last week, Friday, I was just having the shittiest day. I woke up last week, Friday. Let me tell you this. I woke up last week, Friday, right? And I was like, cool, let's, let's try and get this thing running. And... Uh, I start up the stream and the internet goes shit again. This is after about two or three days battling with the ISP to sort it out. And I was like, you know what? This is just, this is just hopeless. This is just, you, you know that feeling when you start something and you've, you used to have a lot of hope for it. Uh, and in my case, it's like, yeah, I'll start the stream and I'll have fun six to eight hours later and I'll stop the stream and I'll do some things and I'll relax a bit and I'll get back the next day. You know, that was me looking forward to something. And now what I was looking forward to is like, ah, internet is probably going to die two hours into the stream. Um, I'm losing a shit ton of money because of that fucking off the bullshit internet not working. The ISP won't even give us a discount because this is South Africa. You know, it's just a bunch of depressing shit hitting me on Friday. So I start up the stream. And usually what I do is I never look at my viewer count. Um, the times that I do uh, is usually by accident when I still need to do some Twitter stuff. So I start up the stream and I open up Twitter. And uh, I start up the stream, and when I go to open up Twitter, I open up the browser, and it opens up onto my page, and I can see onto my dashboard, and I can see six, seven viewers. And I'm like, cool, we've got six, seven viewers. Go to Twitter. Just do the tweet. You know, do the tweet. And then stay on the Twitter page and not see that viewer count anymore, or my Twitch page. And... Uh, Friday, I start up the stream, man, and I send out the tweet, and I do the usual thing, and my eye catches that viewer number, and I'm sitting on one, and I'm sitting there, yep, this is what happens when you can't keep a consistent schedule. I'm like, okay, cool, I'm sitting on one viewer, so I do the things, and I'm already, like, keep in mind, I'm already fucked, because I've I start to stream up with the expectation that it will end outside of my control. And there's nothing I can do about it. You know, that's how I started the stream. And then start playing the game. And I'm like, ah, oh, let's all tab out. And I look like 10 minutes into 10 minutes into starting the stream. This is just when I usually start talking. I all tab out and I check the viewer count. I'm like, oh, we're still at one. And I tab back in. And I'm like, okay, let's just uh, let's just push through it. And then, out of the blue, someone came in with a host, and it's like, okay, cool. This this makes me kind of feel good. I'm sit. I'm at least I'm not sitting on one viewer anymore, and it makes me kind of feel good. And um, you know, I start interacting, and I tell them a story about the shitty internet and everything. You know, I start complaining. 
which I shouldn't do as a streamer, but I start complaining like, yeah, this internet is so bullshit and fucking, fucking, fucking South Africa and fucking, blah, 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 you know, and uh, I'm like, I'll be amazed if I can last another hour on the stream. And that time, at that stage, I was just hitting the hour mark. I was like, yeah, I'll probably, my stream will probably die. My internet will probably die within the next 10 minutes or so. I'm, I'm, I'm just, it's, it's not a good day. And, and I looked at him, I'm like, thank you for venting. And then out of the blue, the person who raided me, like what he sometimes does is when he leaves, he leaves like a hundred biddies, you know, quite cool. And his viewers just came in and started throwing out them biddies and subs and everything. And I'm sitting there going, I'm not going to cry. You're going to break me, but I'm not going to cry. And I'm eternally grateful for you all. You know who you are. Uh, you're going to probably see this eventually, hopefully. And I'm so fucking grateful for you. And then um, I get a phone call. It is the technician that wants to come check out my internet connection. And I was like, hey, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll be back within about an hour. Just gotta have the technician come check out my internet connection. And then I'll be back and I'll continue on streaming for as long as possible. And um, for longer than I usually stream. And uh, on Friday, the technician came and it's like, eh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. And he leaves and I come back and I stream for about another four hours. And then in those four hours, that um i streamed for another four or five hours i can't remember but anyway but in that time the second stream of friday someone that i haven't seen like i've seen him rarely this one viewer i've seen him he jumped into my channel while i was still in south korea <clears throat> and um I remember he was one of the people who started up a donation train while I was in South Korea to help me get settled when I moved back. I had to tell them the shitty news that I had to move back to this shitty country. And um, he was one of the big donators or big tippers back then. And then like about a year or two later, he just randomly pops into the channel, says hi, says he's busy with schoolwork. I'm like, I'm just glad you're alive, man. I'm just glad you're alive, you know. You know, and he pops in a couple of times after that and everything. And on Friday, he pops in and he drops a big donation right there, a big tip right there. He's like, we completed our project for Varsity. They've paid us. I've got extra cash that I don't want to, can't use, that I can't use on anything. So here you go. And I'm like, ah! you know, and um, yeah, you know, Friday shitty start to the stream turned into a brilliant one, not just because of the donations bits and everything here's the other thing it was one of my higher viewer count streams for divinity original sin you know that was cause for celebration in and of itself what was one of my higher viewer counts for divinity original sin hell they came, there was like three or four people who came in that i never saw on my stream before and they started asking me questions about the game and how things work and what difficulty i'm playing on and blah 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 and i'm like holy shit these are new people you know so we made friday and all in all was a good day it started off really shit like it started off i've got one rule in my life always give your best sometimes your best is 60 percent sometimes it's a hundred percent on friday my best was about 40 percent right after the stream on friday my best on friday jumped up to a hundred percent i was excited i was happy i was trying to i was thinking about new ways to thank the stream and i did some research and i used some of that money on the stream that you will be able to notice tomorrow on stream so it's gonna be cool <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy it though um one thing though is uh patreons are the only ones in the future this is what i'm i'm, I'm giving a hint patrons are the only ones in the future that will have will experience this you you know what i mean by tomorrow 
Um, but speaking of patrons, I want to say thank you everybody for watching this video and uh, thank you for all your support. You all do rock and as always at the end of these videos, I thank my patrons by calling them out, by shouting them out. Uh, we start off with um, Mika and Smiler, Sensor Cat, D Fries, Pixel Corpse, Gamehead ZA, Minosha, Luca, Matt Dorana, a great Susie, Brain Fishes, and Thomas Earl VA. Thank you, everybody, for your patronage. You all do rock my socks off. Trust me, you do. And um, I will uh, leave you at that. I will see you next week. I'm probably going to do the Patreon video on a Saturday now so that I know that it's done. I'll do it on a Saturday and I'll release it on a Sunday. Um, I wonder if you can do a timed release on Patreon, but I'll, 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 I'll do a release on Sunday. I'll attempt to do a release on Sunday, so there won't be any breakages. It'll just be from Saturday to Saturday, and not from Sunday to Sunday anymore. Um, well, today from Monday to Saturday, but, you know, it's complicated. Thank you, all your patrons. You all do rock. And until next time, you all should have a beautifully good one.